sometimes we have uh, underhanded racism or we have racism uh, couched as just concern or, or, or people go through some effort to hide the fact that they're being incredibly racist. Conservative author, filmmaker, Fox News darling and convicted felon Dinesh D'Souza decided to just be straight up racist when criticizing President Obama as a boy out of the ghetto and as a vulgar man. After the president did this recent appearance in a Buzzfeed video, he was promoting health care coverage through healthcare.gov. And he appeared in the video a few days ago, Lewis, and in a move he had uh, in one one scene, he made a move with a selfie stick and he was taking a picture of himself with a digital camera. And Dinesh D'Souza responded to the video by saying on Twitter, you can take the boy out of the ghetto dot 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 leaving out the obvious uh, end to that phrase, but you can't take the ghetto out of the boy. As it happens, it's Dinesh D'Souza, who's the convicted felon here, uh, criticizing Obama for being ghetto. And then he followed up and he said, I know Obama wasn't actually raised in a ghetto. I'm using the term metaphorically to suggest his unpresidential conduct. A guy without class doesn't become a classy guy even when he's in the White House. Let's analyze that. When President Bill Clinton had an affair and lied about it, something many people would consider not classy, putting aside all the political posturing that surrounded it from Republicans, did Republicans say that Clinton was ghetto because he wasn't classy, as Dinesh D'Souza is suggesting? I don't remember hearing that once. When Anthony Weiner, who also, like Bill Clinton, is not black, had all sorts of embarrassing nude picture social media scandals. He was tweeting his penis. I don't know if we decided it's called uh, twunking or tweenising, whatever. The, the, the pictures of his penis were flying out of his phone. Uh, certainly not a classy thing to do. Did we hear a single Republican call that ghetto based on Dinesh D'Souza's definition of it? No. And these tweets are just the latest example of Dinesh D'Souza's attempt to build a career attacking Obama with racially charged nonsense. He once compared Obama's father to Ebola, straight up racism. Yeah, and not classy. Uh, what's classy about this? Obama is in like a, a minute long commercial, which I found to be hilarious. And by the way, uh, since when is digital camera stuff not classy? Digital cameras now are the sign of the ghetto. I guess a selfie stick is ghetto, according to Dinesh D'Souza, but uh, a, a complete lack of class, of course, by the convicted felon. Dinesh D'Souza. No question about it. And uh, uh, explain to me how this is not yet another piece. You know, we have no other acts of lack of class from former presidents called ghetto. They all happen to be white. And we also have a long history of Dinesh D'Souza using Obama's race to agitate. And still there are defenders who say, if you see David, if you see racism here, you're really the racist, just like all the left wingers. That's that's the favorite, right? If you see racism, you are racist. That is a classic finger pointing right there. I'm also pretty sure that Obama never lived in any area that one could really even refer to as a slum or a ghetto. That, but Lewis, that that is obviously true. But do you think that Dinesh D'Souza cares about that? Uh, I'm not really sure what he cares about. He probably just wants to get some attention. And uh, I don't know. He's throwing red meat. He's a, he's a Fox News darling and he's throwing the yeah. red meat out there. And he's still angry with Obama because he thinks his his prosecution was was politically motivated. I mean, the guy broke the law, you know, he, he broke the law. And, and sometimes when you break the law, you get caught. That's just the reality. Make sure to give us a like on Facebook, facebook.com slash David Pakman show.